Hello friends, this video on solid states part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So I have one, two, three from the same unit. These three figures. Correct? But three from the different. The one from the different I, I made in the pink just to show you that some difference uh, unit. Different in the sense there will be one more lattice here. Correct? One more lattice here. Because this, this is just, uh, sorry, one more cell here, one more cell here. Because this cell is nothing but one small cell of a lattice and lattice has millions and trillions of this cells. Right? There will be one cell on the left, one cell be on the right, one cell here and four cells on the top. That's what we know. Correct? So in that case, this six will form one octahedral void. And if you see this six out of this six, which is for forming one octahedral void, right? This is what it is. This is what it is. And this is my octahedral void. And this, but if you see this, this octahedral void, each of these will be shared by four cells because here there are four cells, correct? One here, one here, one here, correct? One exactly on the left, this side, one exactly on the front of this, and one exactly on the front of this shell, which is here, correct? What we are trying to visualize this, visualize this. This is one cell. On the left, there will be one cell. On the front, there will be one cell. And on the front of this cell, there will be one cell, correct? So the, this this particular void will be shared by four cells, right? One from this because you see this this anyway is common. Leave it. This is contributed by the cell we are talking about. These three are contributed by contributed by three different cells, correct? So in that case, what will happen? This whatever we have got, we have got twelve numbers. Octahedral void, right? Because 12 edges, but each of these is shared by 4. So the net octahedral voids in this particular cell will be how much? 3 from the one in the edges plus 1 from the center, which we just discussed. Total is 4. So the number of octahedral void is 4. Correct? And can you see how many number of uh, number of uh, atoms in this? Number of atoms we know that for this is four, right? Three from this face and one from the corner. So if you see the number of atom and the number of octahedral void is exactly matching, and that's what we have told. The number of octahedral void is equal to the number of atoms. Correct. So hope you understand what is going here. So each is is surrounded by one, two, three, three more other unit cells. So each of these tetra octahedral void which you form on an edge will be shared by 3 plus 1 that is 4 unit cells. There are 12 such edge. So 12 such octahedral voids you'll get like this. One in this, one in this, one in this, like, like that. Each of these 12 edges you'll get octahedral voids. But each of these 12 octahedral void which you get will be shared by 4 other cells. So total is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Let's find the packing efficiency of the closed pack structures. So we have various closed pack structures. Let's start with this structure. In fact, the way, whatever way you want, you will pack, you will try to pack the atoms you see that some space are always there, some empty space are always there. You can't avoid it, right? Because you're trying to create a, a cuboid or cube kind of structure from spheres, you'll always have some voids, correct? And packing efficiency is nothing but the percentage of total space filled by the particles. How efficient this, uh, this method is to fill the space, correct? That is nothing but my packing efficiency nothing but percentage of total space filled by the particles correct so we'll try to find the packing efficiency in the scp and ccp structure 
uh, in the body centered cubic structure and in the simple cube lattice. So let's try it with the first one HCP or uh, and CCP both have the same um, structure. So let's try to find the packing efficiency in this. Again, as I told, this is just for representation, the structure, not the actual structure. Aqua structure is something like this. So in this case, let's assume by length is A for the Q. Right? And you know that this is my diagonal. From here to here, right? This is my diagonal. Not very straight, but this is yeah, diagonal is this diagonal uh, B of length B. So is there a relation between A and B? Yes, because it is a right triangle. If you see, this right triangle, this is this is also A. This is also A. Let me put this. This is A. This is also A, and this is the right triangle. So in that case, Pythagoras theorem b square is equal to nothing but a square plus a square. That is nothing but, you can say uh, root of this, that is nothing but b is equal to root 2a. Correct? Given that the length of the edge is a. Why I am finding a, b actually, so in this case uh, the reason why I am finding b is See if you see I can write B in terms of R and that's what I have to do. I have to write the sphere radius in terms of edge length. So if I take this edge length A I will not be able to find uh, or I will not be able to write the radius in terms of A. Why? Because there is a space here. I don't know how much space is this. But if you see this is all closed. So this I can see that B is nothing but this is R. This whole length is 2R and this is R. B is nothing but 4R. You see, R, then 2R, and then R. R from this sphere, 2R from this sphere, and R from this sphere. Correct? Why? Because this is only one fourth of the sphere. You can see only R. This is actually, if you see, you can see the whole circle. This is one whole diameter. This is 2R, and this is also 1R. So B is nothing but 4R. So with this, I can de derive a relation between R and A. So I can say that A is nothing but 4R by root 2. Why I did this? Because if you see packing efficiency, packing volume of spheres by volume of cube. So packing efficiency is nothing but volume of spheres which uh, you get by the volume of cube. Cube or this unit cell, generally we'll take cube only here. So if you see now, volume of spheres, how will you find? Volume of one sphere into number of spheres. So in this case of a closed pack structure, how many number of spheres you get? Four that we have seen, right? Three from the face, one from the corner. There's something like four into, what is the volume of cube? 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by sorry what is the volume of sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube that is what total volume of spheres by volume of cube volume of cube is what a cube right a is nothing but let me write here wall of cube is nothing but a cube and what is a 4 r by root 2 this is whole cube Nothing but 4r by root 2 whole cube. So if you see r cube r cube cancel. With this, if you solve into 100 also, 100 percent, because I'm giving you the in the percentage, right? So it will be given in the 100 percentage. So you solve it, you get 74 percent. And that's what we have told earlier also. We told we'll solve it and have the solution for this. So packing efficiency is 74 percent in this case. And you see, that's the reason why I wrote r in terms of a that's what i want to do because see volume of q is cube is always a cube and if i can write my radius in terms of a or 
a in terms of radius the length of the cube in terms of radius my purpose is solved because end of the day i have to find packing efficiency there is nothing but volume of sphere by volume of cube so if there is a common term it will cancel out correct and that's the reason why instead of a i am writing here 4 r by 2 and that's what i have to write here correct let's try to find the packing efficiency for body centered cubic so in this case the number of uh, uh, sphere is 2 right one from the corners and one in the center so here uh, again can we draw r here yes these two are combined right actually if you draw the picture the real picture this is uh, this is just a hypothetical picture to understand but actually this is the real picture and this is my a right and here you see my r is nothing but what r is nothing but a by 2 no that is not true because this is correct but you see here there is a gap here there is a gap here right there is a gap here also there may be gap the main actual touching thing is here from here to here to here this is actually touching if you draw a line across this diagonals it will touch see the trick here this may not touch right there is a gap here so you can't say that uh, 2r is equal to a that you can't say right because that is not true so this line will touch so let me draw this figure once again so here this is my let's suppose number one the center one is number two and this last one is number three right you can go from here to here also same thing so if you draw this now if you try to see then you can find now i have my f a is nothing but r plus 2r plus r that is 4r correct so in this figure i say f a is equal to 4r but i have to write r in terms of a and this is my a right so i have to write f a in terms of a now so if you see if this is a this is a but f a is part of this triangle this right triangle that is triangle let me draw this triangle this is f dot here a with a star here that's for clear understanding and then i have d d what should i put i have put a dot here let me put something like the circle here so if you now compare f a d this is the triangle I am looking for. Correct? This triangle. Then so this triangle I have F A D. So this F D is B. B is root 2 A, I know. Thus now I derived in the last equation, right? Because if this is A, this is A, then this triangle F C D, you get B is root 2 A, Pythagoras theorem. DC sorry DA is A you can just see so DA is A actually so I have to find FA so FA is nothing but root of FD square plus FA square FA is nothing but root of FD square plus DA square Pythagoras theorem is nothing but root 2 square is nothing but 2A square a square is a square is nothing but root 3 a correct and f is nothing but 4 so i have derived this relation now so let me say the relation i derived is a is 4 r by root 3 that is my critical relation so once i have this relation i can easily find so packing efficiency is nothing but volume of spheres by volume of my unit cell into 100 since i'm giving percentage so volume of sphere is what how many spheres two spheres two into four by three pi r cube volume of unit cell is nothing but a cube and then a cube is nothing but this four r by root three 
whole cube. Correct? Because this is A. And into 100 percent. If you solve this, you get 68 percent as your answer. So the packing efficiency is body center is slightly lesser than face centered. There we are 74%. Here we have 68%. The next is simple cube. So if you see the actual representation of simple cube here, you see all these are touching. Right? These, these uh, spheres are touching each other. So this is if it is A and if this is R, this is R, I can just simply say that 2R is equal to A. Correct? R plus R is equal to A. Easily I got this relation. Now I have to find this relation packing efficiency volume of spares by volume of unit cell into 100 percentage volume of sphere is what only one sphere I know in simple cube only one sphere each contributing 1 by 8 1 by 8 into it 1 that is 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by volume of unit cell is a cube a is what 2 r 2 over whole cube right volume of unit cell is a cube and a is, a is nothing but 2 r so 2 over whole cube so you solve this into 100 also you get 52.36 percentage this is the packing efficiency of simple cube correct 74 percent 68 percent and 50 2.36 percentage. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.